Hi, I'm Dr. Duke and this is Run Smart New York. Today, I'm gonna to give you some awesome turbocharged sports medicine. We're gonna talk about how to release the IT band and we're gonna talk about how to release it from the quads. I had to make this a two-part series because most people just do this. Excuse me for a second. They take a foam roller, they put it on their side, and they kind of roll up and down. And you know what? This does absolutely nothing. That's like trying to massage somebody when they're like tensing the whole time. It's like, relax, dude. I'm gonna get into those muscles. So here's a little anatomy lesson. Come on over. Tighten your, tighten your quad. I want everyone to kind of see the IT band. So the IT band comes down. It starts all the way up at the hip. Something called the tensor fasciolata. Then it turns into a band. And it's not a muscle. So if someone says, hey dude, I got this great stretch for you for your IT band, you just have to tell them they don't know what they're talking about because you can't stretch the IT band. The IT band is this big fascial band. It doesn't know if it's a muscle or a tendon or a ligament. It's just fascia and it's thick. When I dissected it during my chiropractic education, that thing stuck to everything. It was so adhesive, you couldn't even peel it off the body. It stuck to the quads, it stuck to the hamstrings, it stuck to the glute, it attaches down to the patella and the fascia around the patella, and then it goes down below the knee and it attaches to the peroneal muscles. It even kind of wraps around and attaches right near where the hamstring attaches underneath the calf. So essentially, you can't stretch it, but you can try to release it. And that's what I'm trying to provide to you, a tool in your chest that you can use to kind of self-manage and not get injured. So the best way to start is this. Lie on your stomach and let's first relax the quad. So I want you, there you go Michelle, just kind of lay down, settle in. And when she's settling in, now I just want you to roll side to side a little bit. How does that feel? Good. It feels good because it's like someone's getting into the fascia and digging in there and massaging it out a little bit. Then I would kind of stop, move up a couple of inches, just a couple. That's it. And then settle down again, all the way down. Let your hip go down. Just relax. Then move side to side again. This is serious. It doesn't look like much, but man, I guarantee. How does that feel? Is that deep or what? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, so then let's kind of, let's, let's, let's turbocharge the speed. Let's go all the way up to your hip. Keep on going, keep on going, keep on going. Now we come up to where the tensor fascia lata is. That's where the IT band originates. Now roll side to side a little bit. Just to me, because I'm focusing on this side. There you go. But try to get your weight like full sleep again. All the way down. Now roll to me. Just a little, that's enough, and then back and forth. Now, when you're all the way up this high, let's put a little motion in here. Bend your knee for me. Settle in and flex this leg. That's it, and then put it back again. I like motion. I want the IT band to release from that quad. Now, let's get off of this thing, and let's try to sit on it. Sit over here and put your legs on top of it. Sit a little bit closer to here. Put your legs all the way down, and now roll to your side, and let's get on that diagonal, because the diagonal is where the IT band lays over that outer quad, or the vastus lateralis. You see, you want your quad to slide and glide over the IT band. They move in opposite directions. When you bend your knee, the quad moves up and the IT band moves down, and then vice versa. And let me tell you, when they become adhesive, which they do from inflammation, the IT band will always win the tug of war and it'll strain your hip flexors or your quads. So lie down again, let's try that again. Get diagonal, and now roll. But now, let's put some motion in there. Bend your knee, I know it's not easy. And now roll. Keep rolling, don't give up on me. And now kind of straighten it out a little bit and then roll a little bit more, and then straighten it out a little bit, and make sure you stay on that diagonal. Really nice. Now, let's get off of this, and let's take out that beastie ball. So, 
I like the Beastie Goal because it'll adhere to the ground, it won't slip away, it has some forgiveness, but it really still has those nubs that'll dig into the tissues. So I want to get on the Tenta Fascia Bottom. Let's get it all the way up on top, and just gently get on it, roll a little bit side to side, maybe a little up and down. Make sure you get that high, otherwise you're not going to release that IT band at all. Then let's get off of this and let's move it down to where the IT band comes close to the knee. And you can see right between the IT band and the quad is where you want to place this thing so it twists the fascia and you try to get like a little release. So let's put it right over here, lie on your side, get some pressure on it, very nice. Now, try to just kind of roll a little bit, roll up and down a tiny bit, nice. And now bend your leg, try to bend your leg. Try, you can do it, good. And now straighten, try it again, bend it. And then straighten, good. And after a few of these, come off of it. And now we have to go below the knee. We're gonna get over the peroneal area where the IT band attaches. And now just apply some pressure. Now I want you to move your ankle. I want you to move it up and down. And I want you to move it to the ceiling and to the floor, like in and out. Good. And now try again to bend that leg. Move your ankle up and down as if you're heel striking, even though a heel strike is not good for you with running, but you want a little heel strike. And then up and down to the floor and ceiling as you're kind of doing this motion. We're just trying to release that IT band from sticking to your quad. All right, I'm Dr. Duke, and that is Run Smart New York.